you know what? Instead of saying messy hair don't care, I'm gonna say shut up, I gave up. Hey everybody, it is Roxy here from Clode Fitness. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are all about that base. Is it Halloween time? Because we're talking about the booty. Oh yes, preach for that peach. If you're in construction, it's all about that ass fault. I'd love to keep doing these puns, but we got some working out to do. So yes, today it is all about that behind. We are working on our favorite booty moves. I'm gonna show you guys my absolute favorite leg moves today and all of the modifications that go with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, take it away, voiceover Roxy. Thank you, Real Life Roxy. We are starting with a good old step up here. Remember, when you are stepping up, I want you to use those leg muscles to go up not forward. Make sure that we're really using all of our leg power here to create that nice straight line. One of the things we can do to make this step a little bit more challenging is that we can increase how tall we are actually stepping and you can actually control how slow you're going down. You see how nice and slow I go? Go slow like that. Here's a modification for you to make it easier or you can actually make it a little bit harder on yourself. This is a single leg step up. So I'm just stepping up with one leg with some weights and I am very slowly bringing my opposite leg down, controlling my thigh muscles there and my quads and just going as nice and slow as I can. One of my favorite modifications for the step up is the remedial step up. So you're going to step up with only one leg, but this time you're gonna bring your opposite leg to the front, sort of like in a pistol squat. That's kind of fun, right guys? Still with some weights on this one. It's really time to step up to the challenge for this exercise. <laughs> Now onto a great exercise if you don't have any equipment at home, that's the glute bridge. So here I'm demonstrating just a normal old glute bridge. You're gonna bring your feet out and bring your bum all the way up to the ceiling, holding it there for about three seconds. That's a really great squeeze that's happening right there. A modification to this exercise is to add some weight. It doesn't need to be a dumbbell, it could be a dog, it could be a cast iron skillet. Those are heavy. Yeah, just use whatever you got. Make it work, girl. Here we are going a little bit tougher. You're gonna lift up one of your legs. Yeah, that makes it a lot tougher. You're gonna concentrate on that glute. Really squeeze it up when you get up there. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Another modification still, we're gonna elevate our feet now. So we're gonna put our feet on a stepper or on an actual step at home, whatever you got, make it work for you, girl. Oh my Lord, we're going even more difficult. Now we're gonna do an elevated single leg glute bridge. Yeah, this one you gon' feel. We're going into our squat and kickback right here. I love this because this is a dual exercise. You do a nice low squat, toes pointed in front of you, you know, hip distance apart a little bit more, whatever works for you. If your hips are hurting, go a little bit wider, but you're gonna kick back, just straight back, no bending that knee, okay? We're gonna make it a little bit more difficult. We're gonna add a band, yes, and make sure to get a fabric band. None of that cheap silicone latex bands here. No, you are going to get a fabric band, honey. That is what you are gonna get because it works the best. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna squat and we're gonna kick straight back. I want you to keep your back nice and straight. Just focus on that glute, squeeze it as hard as you can. On our next one, we are gonna go into some leg extensions. You see how my torso is staying nice and still? I got a little bit of a bend in my supporting leg, the leg that's on the ground, because I wanna make sure that my leg is able to swing and then clear. And for the next modification, I'm actually gonna bring my knee all the way up. Again, my back is not moving. I'm trying to keep it as nice and steady as possible so I can focus on just that extension. And that peach band, whew! Lord, we're feeling it. We are feeling it, girl. Let's stay with the peach band here. I'm gonna go into a squat and I'm gonna do some side-by-side -side steps. So I'm going nice and low, but you know what? You can go as low as you want. It's your world. I am just living in it. So just go wherever you feel comfortable and really focus on that side-to-side -side movement. 
Now we're going into kickback. So I've got a bent knee kickback here. My back is not moving. I'm just bringing my leg up to the point where my thigh is flat with my stomach and I am squeezing that glute as hard as I can. An amendment to this exercise, I'm gonna put an actual dumbbell. You can't really see it because I'm stupid and I wore black leggings, but I have a dumbbell in between my knee and my thigh right there and my hamstring and I'm holding it and I'm really getting that glute work in there. back to the fabric band because I love it so much. We're doing glute bridges as well as some openers. So this is really going to work on our adductors and abductors right here. And we are, control is the name of the game. That is what I'm talking about. You are gonna control yourself. Whatever you put into this exercise is what you get out. You know who I am? I'm a queen, so I am going to curtsy lunge. Yeah, that's what these are called. You're gonna bring your leg behind you, kind of in a speed skater motion, and you are going to go into a lunge. Um, I don't recommend this one if you've got like really bad knees or anything like that, so you may wanna forego it, but it's great for the booty. Here's an amendment to a reverse lunge. You are going to do a standing split squat with a little bit of support with like a broom handle or whatever you got. You're gonna take a generous step back and you're gonna go down onto that front leg. That front leg is the one that we are charging here. Box squats are next. These are absolutely my favorite. Here is just a sumo squat without the box. So I want hips back, knees out. Remember that saying. You're gonna keep your back in a nice neutral position and you're really gonna push those hips out. Next up, we're gonna do some pickups here. You are going to pick up your kettlebell in between and the same thing applies with uh, you know, the box squat. We're still gonna push those hips back and bring those knees out. The only difference is, is that we're reaching our hands down with a little bit of weight. And again, you can use a dog, a cast iron, whatever you want. No weight deadlifts right here. So let me talk about the deadlift girl. Okay, you are going to start with your feet about hip distance apart and they're going to be pointed forwards. You're going to push your hips back as far back as they go, working on those hamstrings. And you're gonna have your hands in front of your thighs, pushing into them. That neck is part of that spine. You wanna make sure that it is in line. A little bit of curve in the back is totally fine, but you don't wanna do anything excessive. Tuck those shoulders back just slightly. Again, nothing excessive, and that's your deadlift right there. Finally, we are going to be doing some fire hydrants. So you're gonna keep your knees at 90 degrees. You're gonna push them to the side, just like you're, well, you know, a fire hydrant. You know what I mean, I don't need to say it. Next exercise, we have got some banded wide walks. You're gonna bring one foot next to another, keep your back nice and straight, put on a song, do a little dance to it. Oh, we going backwards, we're doing it fancy, Roxy. Look at you, good job. Really working on those thighs, looking good. Now we're gonna add a little bit of a kick uh, to the butt here. It just adds in a little bit more dimension to the exercise and oh, she's doing it backwards. Oh my goodness. Wow. Good job. Well, that's it for me, folks. Roxy voiceover is out. Take it away, real life Roxy. Whew. Okay. Well, guys, that was very cheeky. Wasn't that just bootylicious? Alrighty, guys, thank you for joining me for this puntastic workout. We are going to see each other very soon. Have a wonderful and fantastic week. I will see you guys soon. Bye.